Good morning. This is Alex Alamon with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On the day it was discovered that Jesus' body was no longer in the tomb, two disciples were going to a village called Emmaus. Jesus himself came near, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk? Cleopas answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place? He asked them, What things? They replied, the things about Jesus of Nazareth, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. It is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us what they had indeed seen, a vision of angels who said that he was alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Please join me in prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag and place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today we have one birthday. Happy birthday to Isaac Valdez. Please join me in the school mission statement. St. John the Apostle Catholic School, established in 1965, follows the traditions of the Roman Catholic Church, providing students a challenging education that encourages the success of each student. Have a terrific Tuesday.